Welcome to Uncle C's Bible Lessons, and I am your host, Uncle C. Today's story is called, It Is My Baby. You may know it as the wisdom of Solomon. And if you look at 1 Kings chapter 3, you will be able to follow the story and read it in its entirety. After the story, please gather your family members and look at 1 Kings chapter 3 so you can have the whole story. The action text is taken from 1 Kings 3, 7, and it says, Lord, my God, you have allowed me to be king in my father's place, but I am like a little child. I do not have the wisdom I need to do what I must do. Now on to the story. Soon after Solomon was king, he had a dream. And in that dream, God came to him and asked him, Solomon, I can grant you anything you want. What do you want? Now, Solomon could have asked for riches. He could have asked for a long life. He could have asked for fame. But he said, Lord, you have made me king after my father. I am like a little child. I have no idea what I need to do. So you know what, Lord? I need wisdom to guide your people. So Lord, please grant me wisdom. The Lord said to Solomon, Solomon, you did not ask for, for riches. You did not ask for fame. You did not ask for even long life. But you know what? I am going to grant you wisdom and I'm going to grant you all of the above. A long life also, if you obey what I tell you to do. Then after a while, Solomon got up and he said, wait a minute, it is only a dream. But soon after, he had a very interesting case. Two women came before him. The first woman said, I need you to help me. This lady has my baby. So Solomon said, okay, tell me your case. So the first woman said, we both live in the same house. I had my baby first, and she had her baby three days later. Now, she rolled on her baby and accidentally killed her baby. And when she realized she did that, she came and took my baby and exchanged the babies. And when I got up in the morning to feed my baby and I looked at it, I said, wait a minute, this isn't my child. And then when I looked at what she had, I said, that is my child. So Lord, please, please tell her to give me my baby. The second lady said, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. That's not true. This baby is mine. So now Solomon was wondering what to do. He said to the woman, you said it's your baby and you said it's your baby. I guess you guys will have to share the baby. But the way he had planned to share the baby was to get a sword and to cut the baby in half. One lady said, no, 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 no. Please, 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 please. Don't do that. Don't do that. Give the baby to her. While the second one said, none of us will have the baby. Cut the baby in half so we both can have the baby. And Solomon said, you know what? The first woman is the real mother. Only the mother will want to give up her baby to spare the baby's life. And soon after that, Solomon was known as the wisest person who ever lived. Now, there's some points to remember. We have to consider the big picture when we approach God. Solomon asked for wisdom. He did not ask for money, wealth, fame. He realized the big picture was for him to lead the people of God. So we should not be selfish with our requests. It should not always be about me, 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 me. 
if we listen carefully, we can also solve situations. Solomon listened to what the individuals were saying, and as a result, he was able to make a wise decision. And God wants us to be wise in our decision-making process. Who knows, right now, you have to make a decision. You may have to, but pray to God, ask for wisdom as you make that decision. Okay, all right, boys and girls, it's now for the story in rhyme. If I was to say the story in rhyme, it would be something like this. Solomon asked God for wisdom soon after he was king. He said wisdom was needed to solve everything. Soon after he had an interesting case, when two women stood before his face, he looked at one woman and saw her story had flaws then told the other, the baby is yours. This decision boosted his popularity in the land and soon after he was considered the wisest man. All right, are you ready for your quiz? What is the answer? Question number one, what did Solomon requested from God? A, riches, B, long life, C, fame, or D, wisdom. And if you say D, wisdom, you are correct. Question number two, what interested case did Solomon had to rule on? A, two women, two men, sorry, and a land dispute. A, two men and a land dispute. B, two women and a baby. C, two kings and their thrones. D, he had to decide if his dream was real. What interesting case that Solomon had to rule on? And if you say B, two women and a baby, you are correct. Question number three, what did God promise to Solomon? A, wisdom. B, long life, if he obeyed him. C, riches and fame. Or D, all of the above. And if you say D, all of the above, you're right. Solomon just asked for wisdom, but God said, okay, you did not ask for the others, so I will give you everything. And question number four, how did Solomon decide who was the real mother of the child? A, he ordered a DNA test. B, he questioned the, the child's father. C, only the real mother would want to spare the child's life. Or D, he decided to consult his lawyers. What is the answer? And if you say C, only the real mother would want to, share, to spare the child's life, you are right. That is the answer. Thank you for joining the quiz today. Now, boys and girls, it is prayer time. Let us close our eyes bow our heads, and let us pray to Jesus. Our Heavenly Father, we pray for your wisdom as we make daily decisions. Please impart your wisdom upon us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, boys and girls, thank you for watching Uncle C's Bible Lessons. And as always, if you want to write to me, my email address is Uncle C Bible Lessons at gmail.com. Dot com. And as always, please receive your parents' permission before writing. Well, boys and girls, that is all for now. And as you go through the week, always remember that Jesus loves you very much.